So you may be driving in either a race or qualifying or even practice, just driving on the straightaway and find yourself tucking. You just kind of do it. Most people don't actually know why we do it. I mean, obviously to be faster, but today I wanted to kind of explain why people do it and why it would help and if it actually helps at all. But before I start, make sure to subscribe. It really helps. So tucking and carding is pretty much known as like the human DRS. It's very easy to do and pretty much everyone who races does it. And well, there are a number of reasons why you would want to do it, but not the reasons you would expect. You may be thinking that tucking is important in uh, reducing drag, but it actually doesn't really reduce drag that much. If you think about it, you're just leaning forward. You're not really getting shorter. You're getting shorter a little bit, but it's not actually reducing drag. Now the real benefit that tucking does have is actually not drag but weight distribution. Remember in my video about racing in the rain where people would lean to to transfer the weight of the go-kart? Well but this is basically the same thing. You're taking your weight, you're bringing your weight, your body weight towards the front of the cart and this is to take weight off the engine. Basically taking load off the engine. Not giving it more power, but giving it less weight. But how much does it actually make you faster? Well, I pulled up some data and compared a lap with me tucking and me not tucking. And to my surprise, there was actually a difference, but it was very low, only a couple hundredths of a second. This does depend on what track you're at. For example, if you have a really long straightaway like the Super Nats track last year, then you'd probably want to tuck. But on such a small little technical track, there's no need even because it wouldn't even help. Now, a reason why you also would want to tuck, and it's not particularly a performance advantage, but it's more a psychological advantage. It's recommended to tuck, say, in like a in qualifying or like a stressful race situation where you're trying to push constantly just to get you in that mindset. Uh, well, at least it helps me. But in a practice, um, in a practice where I'm just doing laps, trying to hit my marks, I kind of, I don't even worry about it, to be honest. But yeah, definitely a psychological advantage, just being in that race mode and constantly pushing, and pushing 100%. But obviously you don't want to be doing that all the time, every lap. For me, that's why, that's when I only do it in qualifying or like the first few laps of a race, just to push 100%. Another thing I'd like to add is, it also depends on what class you're running. For example, like if you're in a shifter cart or even like an X30 or Rotax, it doesn't make that much of a difference since the engine already has quite a lot of power and uh, doing this doesn't actually affect it that much. But if you're in like a, a Briggs 206 or a KA, something a lot slower, it'll obviously it'll be much more of a significant effect. So that's something to keep in mind, especially in those low horsepower classes. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys learned something and see you in the next one.